Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. How the hell did you get in? You left your door open. Get out, Charity, before I call the police. You're not going to do that, though, are you? I mean, you, you didn't call them when Kane hit Scott. And I know why. You're scared they'll look more closely into why Scott's changed his story. Scott changed his story because he realised he'd made a mistake. Yeah. Didn't seem too comfortable that in the witness box today, did he? Where do you go now, please? Be your turn sat there tomorrow, won't it? Humiliated as a liar. I am not a liar! No, you're not. That is exactly what I am saying. So we listen to me. You are a decent person. You're not like Scott or me or Chris. You won't be able to lie. Especially under oath. I won't need to lie. Yeah, you will. You know you will. You said as much. So we... I know I've been a, a stupid, faithless bitch. I know how rotten I've been to you, and I know how I hurt Chris, but I didn't kill him, and I don't deserve to go down for life. Please. You can't do this to me. Not after everything that's happened between us. And I don't mean us. I'm not talking about us. I am talking about when you had your breakdown. When you had Jean. When Debbie arrived, we were mates then. We helped each other. Well, at least... At least you helped me. Because I wouldn't have Debbie now if it hadn't been for you. And who knows where Jean would be? Don't, it's don't true, it. though, isn't it? It's true. You'd have given that baby up for adoption if it hadn't been for me and Debbie. Got her a present, actually. You know, for her birthday, it, it isn't wrapped. I was going to ask Debbie to give it to her when this is over. What did you hope to achieve by coming here this evening? I need your help. You are the one person who knows I didn't kill Chris. And I'm really scared. You know, I'm just as gutted as you are that he's dead. Oh, I doubt that very much. I am. So it, I wanted to get back with him. And I bet you, if he'd known I was pregnant, he'd never have done what he did. What do you want me to do with it, by the way? Because you know they don't let you keep them in prison with you. Not for long. It's got nothing to do with me. I can't bear the thought of having to give another kid up for adoption. You don't really want to go through with this, do you? You're only doing it because you think it's what Chris would have wanted. Well, Chris is gone. Just you and me now. So don't you think it's time you started doing what you wanted? Zoe, if you just get me off. I can't get you off. All right then, um, if I get off, I won't ask for anything else. Any of this. I'll get out of your life for good and I won't ever bother you again. Unless, of course, you want it some other way. I'll do the best I can for you. Thank you. OK, well, I'll see you in the morning, yeah? And damn you.